So, with Overwatch 1 finally having an official shutdown date, and the Overwatch 2 can have its official replacement date, some people are kind of wondering what to do next. And basically the simple answer is uh, quick login, make sure you don't have any loot boxes sitting around because those will just go away. If there's any skins you're missing you want, quick grab them, otherwise just leave it. But uh, the thing that has, or at least seems to have a lot of people unhappy is the way the, uh, part of the way the new battle pass system is going to work. Because now, you will have to grind to unlock new heroes. And given Blizzard's reputation with hero balance at launch, some people are saying that it could definitely be kind of a pay to win scenario. Because if a, if a new hero is particularly busted, well, everybody that bought the premium stuff that gets to get them right away is arguably going to be at one hell of an advantage compared to everybody else. Now, sure, with the recently teased one, I believe it's Kiriko, if you have Overwatch 1, you'll just automatically get her, but any hero going forward from that, you will have to grind for, which a lot of people are saying is bullshit, because again, if the hero is kind of OP at launch, well, everybody that paid to buy them to get them right off the bat is going to be arguably at more of an advantage. The counter argument that I've seen is, oh, there's other games that do this. Look at Valorant. Valorant, you have to grind or pay for heroes in Valorant. Yeah, but Valorant characters aren't necessarily reliant on their abilities. Sure, the abilities are there, they're a part of the game, but at the end of the day, you could have god tier ability usage and placement and whatnot, but if your aim is so bad you can't hit the broadside of a barn at point blank range, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> Because that game is more about the gunplay rather than the ability play. Because Overwatch still has plenty of alts where it's basically just press button to win. You have several abilities that are arguably press button to win. I mean, shit, if I had a dollar for every time I got flash and fanned by a freaking... I think they call him Cassidy now. If I had a dollar for every time I got nailed with that, I'd be rich. <laughs> now... I am still cautiously optimistic for the game as a whole from everything I was seeing from the beta. The game itself does look like fun. I'm admittedly kind of keen to try some of the super tanks, um, especially because I was more I was always more of a flex player. I just picked whatever was needed. But the battle pass thing does kind of annoy me because now you're telling me that if I want to actually get get to the new stuff that I actually care about, meaning the new characters, that I'm going to have to you know, divert a lot of time towards grinding for it that I could be using towards other games or even just other hobbies, and that's kind of annoying. So, we'll see. Because a lot of people are kind of upset about it, they might tone it down a bit. We'll see, but knowing uh, money-grubbing Activision Blizzard, they're probably not going to back down, and in my opinion, that's probably going to end up having... Overwatch 2 be a sitting duck within about a month of launch to the point where hardly anybody cares about it anymore because oh, you know, all the pay pegs are just gonna, you know, get a free advantage or I mean I'm sure there's still gonna be plenty of damn cheaters especially now that it's free to play and maybe less smurfs because supposedly they're doing the whole you gotta link a phone number to the account to do rank but I don't know, we'll see. Cautiously optimistic but kind of annoyed with the monetization system.